Hi, I'm Diana, and I'm going to show you just a quick couple things to do first thing in the morning when you just wake up. Maybe you set the coffee to brew, and this will be done within the time it takes for that to drip and be perfect for you. If you wake up feeling creaky at all, a little achy, anything, we're just going to try and reset it all to as good as you're going to feel so that you can get on with everything else without having to think about what kind of aches or is sore or whatever. So I'm gonna have you start lying down on your back with your knees bent. You could even do this first thing literally when you wake up, stay in your bed and do this if that's the most convenient and what means you'll do it in real life. So on your back with your knees comfortably bent, we'll do a few pelvic rocks. You're gonna use the exhale to press your entire low back into the mat and then take your inhale to make some space at the low back. Tilt your hip bones toward your thighs. And we'll do that maybe four more times for a total of five. In an ideal world, obviously, you would do this more than that. Maybe take a little longer to be nice to yourself. But if this is the deal, if this is the bargain you need to make in order to know you'll get some restorative movement in your day, do it. It's about what you are doing, not what you're not doing. So next time you press your low back into the floor, into the mat or the bed, whatever it is, start to peel your spine off of it. You're lifting your hips. You're taking yourself up into a glute bridge and then coming back down just as gradually, articulating through the spine, massaging your back into the floor or whatever it is. Tilting the pelvis toward your face and then picking up just one bone of your spine at a time, pressing your hips up and then rolling back down. Think of massaging your back into the ground. We'll do that one more time. Take an inhale and then on that exhale, you'll pick it all up, press the knees forward, get open through the front of the hips and then coming down just as gradually. Then you'll take your knees to your chest, grab them with your hands, and then a little squeeze, knees toward armpits. And then maybe you take the knees a little closer together, gentle squeeze there. And then maybe a little bit wide again, and then holding them there, a gentle rock side to side. Now we're massaging our mid and low back into the ground getting into that kind of funky QL area that loves to misbehave. And then coming right back to center, grab your kneecaps with your hands and make circles using your arms, not your legs. So you're literally stirring pots with your hands, letting your legs be heavy in their sockets. And then you'll take it in reverse. So maybe five or so in each direction, if that's all you've got time for. And then again, squeezing and then a gentle roll side to side. Now you're gonna hold your right knee against your chest, stretch your left leg onto the floor. Even better if you're on the bed, put your bum at the very edge of the bed and let the left leg just dangle off the side. And then for the most awesome feeling, get someone to press down on that free leg. Basically just getting a little bit open in the hip flexor. And then you'll pull the free leg to your chest and drop the other one down, stretching now through the front of the other leg. And since when you do this, you won't be talking, you'll be breathing very deeply and just letting that breath help calm your central nervous system as you get ready to get going. And then picking up that knee, you'll roll up, you'll flip to hands and knees, a couple cat and cow stretches, arching and rounding your spine, taking as long as you need to stretch through to each of those positions. And then next time you round your spine, sink your hips backward until you're in a child's pose, opening your knees, reaching your arms forward. 
crawling the hands over to one side. If the arms go to the right, you push your left hip back. And then to the other side. And then through center, putting your elbows down, lengthen your legs behind you. And then you're gonna plant your forearms parallel to each other. You're gonna feel as though you're trying to drag your elbows backward toward your hips and come into a bit of a sphinx sort of situation. And you're just gonna stretch through the belly, making your spine long, but not pushing yourself up off of the floor. It's a drag forward trying to stretch your spine a little bit longer. Squeeze your bum if that makes you feel more supported. And then finally, planting your hands, tucking your toes, stretching into a bit of a down dog. You could pedal through the heels here. And then however you need to get up, you can walk your hands toward your feet or your feet towards your hands or a little bit of both, rolling up really slowly. And there you are, your coffee is ready. Go have it. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.